Alright, well you made it this far, so I'm hoping you're real interested in starting to see um, how this application is going to come together and it's going to be your very own, your very own completed application. Now, we're going to create a help view model. Now, it's not going to be that interesting, but we'll jump right into it and I'll explain it as we go. So we're going to go to our view models folder, we're going to create a class, we're going to call this help view model. Now, what is our help view model going to be? Our, well, it's going to be that stupid thing that we see when we uh, when you go to Notepad and it's like, oh, about or help, and then it's like, oh, about this Notepad. So in here is going to be where we're going to open up a separate dialog to display um, about our amazing Notepad application that everybody can admire and find out who wrote this amazing application. So we're going to, of course, give it a observable object base because we are, uh, eh, it's actually not necessary, but we'll keep it as is just to understand the concept here. Uh, so we're going to create a public I command, control period, add in our input here, and we're going to create a help command, and all this is going to do is open up a dialog to display to the user. So create a constructor here, and we'll call our help command, we'll equal a new relay command, we don't have it yet, so I'll set it to null for now. And we're going to create a private void, and we'll call it display about. And we'll display our about, and in here is where we will open help dialog. Okay? So we'll get back to that in a minute because we have not created videos yet. But this is all we're really going to be doing. We're going to put in like two lines here and that's it for this view model so we get to get to the core of our application so we're going to create a new view model here and we'll call this main view model enter so this is going to be essentially the the uh, the conductor of our amazing application this is going to be where we tie everything together and we're going to tie everything together by this is going to hold all of our view models and our document. So first we're going to create, because if you remember, our editor and our file view model need a document. We, we still haven't given, given it anything to supply it with a document model. So we're going to create a private document model and enter in our models namespace. And we'll set it, uh, we'll give it a going to be private so we're going to call it document now this is going to hold our initial document and the reason we're doing that here in our main view model is because both our file and editor are dependent upon this document and we also want them both to be working with the same document if we created the document in either our editor or either in our editor here or our file view model if we created it in here both of these are going to be referring to two separate document models. We don't want that. We want them both to be accessing the same model. So we're going to be using our main parent or our main view model here to uh, be the messenger between the two and make sure everybody's in sync with what's going on. So we're going to create that and then we're going to pretty much create an instance of each and every one of our view models we have here. So, editor view model, I'll probably end up cutting here. Okay, so we typed everything in now. You can copy it if you'd like. I actually added in a few comments here. So, like I mentioned, we have our document model here, which will be shared, and we have an instance of each and every one of our view models, our editor, our file, and our help view model. All these we will be binding to and to the properties within them to make our application run. But like I mentioned, we need the same instance of a document if the file and the editor are going to be both using the same document. So this is where we're going to, obviously when the application starts up, we're going to start off with a brand new document model. So we just simply instantiate that here. We then have our help, uh, our help here, which is going to be 
a new instance of a help view model. Doesn't need much information there, but we now have our editor and our editor is going to equal a new editor view model. But again, if you remember, our constructor requires a document. So this is where we are going to pass it the document that the main view model holds. And then we're going to do the same thing here with our file equals a new file view model and we will pass it the same document. So what is going on here? Because sometimes as you grow the application, sometimes it gets a little confusing to uh, remember who's using what and from where. And essentially here we're passing it the same document. Now, since it is being assigned to the same instance, our, our uh, private document here, when we go to our file view model and we go to the constructor and we set the document to document, we are setting this document equals this. They are the same exact instance. It's not new. We didn't use the new keyword. They are the same exact instance. Also, we did, uh, I think I did first for file. So then we have our editor here, which also has the same instance. We go to our editor. When we pass it the parameter of this instance, we also set this to the same instance. So now that we have that out of the way, I suppose we can start jumping into our XAML. Um, I'm going to do that in a separate video just, just to break this up a bit. So this video is going to be a little short, but that's really it for our view models now. Now we're going to move on to the XAML and start binding uh, commands and properties and all that fun stuff. So see you there.